Hello, I'm Just Trader One Two Three of Far North Gaming, and we are playing XCOM and the unknown, the original game. Uh, now, believe it or not, this mission is in, well, it was our original team, but this mission is in Canada. We're in Edmonton right now, apparently. I mean, hey, what a wonderful surprise slash coincidence. Now, for those who haven't seen this game, it's pretty straightforward. Who do we have here? Jacob, Richard, Gene. That's our first team. We'll probably rename them to be part of the Far North Gaming team eventually. The thing about this game is. I think. Right. Is all about. Over oh, here. Playing it safe. Please don't run away. Don't run away. I was hoping they would stay there so I could throw a grenade at them. Pretty much, it's like a turn based game between you and the enemies. Uh, Alien life on Earth. We're witnessing something never before seen in recorded history. And so this is Dr. Van Halen. She will be our science officer. And we are part of the XCOM team. Now, the one rule in this game which is always to be followed is um, safety first. I know that sounds pretty shit, but... Um, if you're people die, they stay dead. And it sucks. So... We want to avoid the whole dying bit. Hopefully, as much as we can. Early on, activity! Things are going whoosh whoosh over there. Yeah. Okay, this is a mind melt. Um, the person casting mind melt. Oh god, see, he just got shot through, like, the gap between the trucks. I should have seen that coming. That's a very hard shot, and I'm surprised he made the shot. Oh, Overwatch. Did I put him on Overwatch? If he sees someone moving, he has a chance to fire. Often doesn't do much damage, so he's still in. I want to do his turn first. 65% chance to hit. We have flanked. So this is crit. X-ray neutralized. Their weapons appear to self-destruct when the operator dies. We hmm. should look closely for any fragments that could be salvaged for our own Might development be programs. Explosive, I don't know. Okay, um, let's see if we can rotate here. Huh? Let's hope this gets the alien. Throwing grenade. Now, grenades will always do three damage, and these guys only have three hit points. Four. You may want to instruct your men to exercise restraint when using explosives. While certainly effective at killing aliens, they also destroy the artifacts we're hoping to recover from the bodies. Just something to consider. Yeah, the truck's on fire, so we don't want to stand too close to him. You still have your free full turn. This is half cover over here, better than no cover. Oh, there is a hostile there. We have a flanking shot. Bye bye. Good work out there, Strike well, one. Beautiful. If I may, Commander, the labs are on high alert. Teams are standing by for your orders. We yeah. can begin re. Standing by for orders. So this is where I, act I unintentionally skipped the intro, which just started going on me, and I could start the recording flight as a prep, so I had to do the prep, obviously. And so you missed the intro, and you missed it actually saying, hey, we're in Canada. Although, if you go back and check there, it says we're in Canada. Welcome to XCOM HQ, oh. Commander. Introduction, I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold. Providing tactical support for our field operations, and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. Really, do we have a soldier waiting for promotion? Wonder who we got upgraded there. So this is our base currently. Nope. Oh, who didn't? Who didn't? The one guy got shot. The assault there. class serves as our front line. Shotgun They're the trooper. first ones into a fight and the last ones out. That's nice. The heavy weapons specialist provides a crucial service to the squad. With the rocket launcher in tow, there are demolitions experts. They like to blow stuff up. Our snipers specialize in dealing massive amounts of damage from afar. But without sufficient training, they're vulnerable in close combat situations. That's why they have pistols to switch to. And this guy. Jesus. The recovered artifacts are being unloaded, and the research team is waiting your orders. We'll get started as soon as you give the order, Commander. Okay, so, so in research we'll go. We'll go to research first. Hello, Commander. My name is Dr. Farlan. 
I oversee the research labs. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. We have already begun analyzing the artifacts recovered from our first encounter with the aliens. Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. With your approval. The laser beams and the pew pews and yeah, I'm sorry, let's get you start your research project. Uh weapon fragments. Commander. Let's get some pimp weapons going. Oh. Oh, damn, I skipped you. Uh he pretty much says, I'm an engineer. Yeah. He said he's old. I'm the engineer, I build all the shit for our soldiers and I'm gonna buy a med kit. I'm gonna buy one med kit because we're gonna see why eventually if someone starts to die, well, Need to make sure they're not dying. Okay, well actually, what do you have? Whoa, where's he? This guy. Commander from? to mission control. I don't understand. I don't, I don't recognize that flag. If anyone knows that flag, this one, let me know. Ooh, we have a Swedish man. We have to take him. We have a Brit, an American, and a. Uh, this is that French? I don't know. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn these into our crew. And that's could be boring to watch. So I'm going to um, skip that for y'all. So see you in a snap, quite literally. And <clears throat> we are back with the crew. So uh, the American, uh, the American shotgun guy became cryptic massacre. Uh, I dressed in pink because he's going to be the run up to their face, shoot him in the face, to shotgun crazy bonsai berserker guy. Then I gave him a kind of a happy spring voice. <laughs> We've got a uh, Templar. Who's going to be rocking our heavy line? He's British, as he would prefer heritage. And then we've got Lord Kornak, who is going to be our Commander to mission recon control. sniper. Commander to mission control. And then the rest we will um, designate as they are assigned their abilities. The Swedish chick. I will need to think of something for her. Alright, and they're spamming me to go to the, the mission control. So, scan for activity. This is where you figure out what's going on. They're doing ducks. We picked up multiple requests Russia. for assistance. Four scientists. In progress Not bad. Are marked scientists on the marked that key. And I'm talking over that guy. <laughs> Perth, Australia. There's also a Perth in Canada, by the way, in Ontario. Four engineers. Buenos Aires. Ooh. Okay, Russia's important, but Europe, America, the Americas, and... Honestly, Argentina. We need to capture Brazil quickly because they allow for a lot of instant researches involving autopsies and something else, I think. So, yeah, we're going to go. Whoa. Sorry, I, had, I felt the need to spam that sound. Okay, who do we have here? We've got the primaries and uh, let's see. What country? What is this country? I don't know what this country is. It's just... We're taking it anyway. Let's see. What's going to happen? I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Who knows? Anything could happen. We're, we're going to go save the world. Touching down. That's what we're going to do. We are going to save the world. We're moving into Argentina next. The threat there seems to be the most pressing. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major... Oh, there we go. Didn't see the continue button. Okay, now this is a gas station. Never, ever use, um, frickin' gas station. God. Because, never use a gas station as cover. Because gas stations explode on a regular basis. They're just like, hey, I'm bored. You know what I'm gonna do? Like, what? You're right, I'm going to explode. What? No, you don't need to explode. I just knocked something on my desk. And then they're like, you know what? I'm gonna explode anyway. Okay, Cryptic Massacre is our frontline gunner. Never hide in a gas station. There's no cover at all over there. Okay, let's see the map. Um, looks like I have to. I'm going to use run a gun, which is an ability that the shotgun guys, or what are these actually called? They're called assaults. That they get. It means you can do full movement, which is worth two two turns. Okay, I should explain the turns first. So anything within the blue ring is considered one turn. Anything within the yellow ring is two turns. Currently, all our units get two turns per turn, per rotation of turns. Run a gun allows you to use two turns and then shoot or go into overwatch. So I'm gonna run. I'm gonna use running gun. Going in for the kill. All the way to here. 
I didn't see anything. That's fine. I'll just go into Overwatch. Templars are heavy. Never hide behind there. Oh, this is really bad. It means we have to, like, go behind the car. Also, Overwatch. Kornak's going to do an Overwatch. See, the sniper, he's got a bit of rain. But this guy is going to dash over here. Usually they won't attack the top because the gas prices are so shit. Argentinian gas prices, man. Wish I lived here. <laughs> okay. Critical mass can run a gun. Um, let's see. Well, it's going to put you in Overwatch. Move you over here. Enemy oh, there we go. Let's see, they're going to run away now. Down there, little. But we know where they are now. Okay, there's a 27 percent chance to hit. Very low chance that we're gonna shoot them anyway. Come on, Templar. Oh my gosh, he actually Target nailed the shot from that far away. Beautiful. Backing up, advance. Our sniper doesn't have any shots to make. The thing about snipers is that um, they can over uh, they can Overwatch. It takes two ticks of turns or two turns. I'm gonna say two ticks. Headshot takes two ticks, and shooting takes two ticks. So they can, and have hunkering down, or grenade throwing. Well, grenades take two ticks. So attacks and offensive strategic stuff, pretty much they're really expensive. So we're gonna actually have to move him all the way over here. The next turn, we'll have to seven, let's actually do something strategic. He can't shoot. If I move to cover over here, oh god, I'm hide. there's a wall here, so I should be okay from the gas station. 45, come on, you can do it. Through the window, but you missed. That is not good. I didn't expect to hit that wall, honestly. I think he just hiding inside the cafe. Which is where I'd rather bring the fight to, honestly. I'd rather fight in the cafe. On Overwatch. Can we just like send a missile straight in the door? Oh, there's some guy there. Rocket off target. What? Shit, he just like missed horribly. There's something out there. God, I absolutely hate. I'm gonna stand right in the middle. Hostile spotted. Oh my gosh. What a clusterfuck over there. Wish I didn't miss that rocket. It would have gone straight into the mall. How far can I throw a frag? Yeah, sure. Let's take out their cover and hopefully kill that one guy. Grenade. <laughs> Killed one and removed most of the cover. Well, I removed a chunk of the cover. But he's gonna try to hit this. Guy. That's actually pretty lucky. That, that alien had a pretty clear shot. Now that one's got an even better shot. Ooh, scored a crit hit. Don't panic. Man. That car is going to explode, so you're gonna get away from it. will kill you. First, you're gonna run and gun them. So you can get as far as here. This is really bad though, because I'm going all in here. I'm rushing the kills. Okay, come on. Hit him the head with Yes. That was actually pretty long range with a shotgun. Let's go over here. Nothing's going to put my overwatch. Lord Commander Templar. Sitting out at Lord Commander Kornak, sorry. You're just going to go there and hunger down. And you need to get the hell out of dodge. 45 Oh man, pull it off, pull it off. Nice. This this guy has actually been pretty boss. That that awesome flag, which I don't recognize. Because we just took that place taking minimal casualties, which is quite nice, I think. I'm hoping he'll level up too, then we'll have a full team. Well, a four-man team. The teams can go up to six. No. Yes, yeah, six eventually will become. Now, Commander to the yeah, Situation Room. Rookie Commander Alexandros Brios. Just like it sounds. The and he's a support, which is good. We need the intangible class. edge our squads need. They make grenade. everyone around them better. Although he is weakened. So, um, no, we got 200 bucks and... We will be in touch, okay. Commander. Every member of the Council is going to want satellite coverage. So we I should plan our satellite. deployments carefully. Canada! What is Canada? They give you a plus 100 bucks a month. Which isn't bad. Not bad at all. 
North America. We already have the air and space bonus, that's fine. But what we want to do is take over Brazil and Argentina. So we're going to launch a satellite over Brazil. Satellite That'll give us a big science boost for some of the key research parts early on. So now we got to build more science stuff. I'm having a hard time grasping what it is the aliens are hoping to accomplish here. So, we'll put satellites Why here because you're going to cluster them. If you cluster them, I think you get bonuses. That might be the expansion. There must be a pattern sure. that we haven't established yet. And over here, we've still um, got some room to grow up here. But if we really want to expand the next three, um, we're going to have to start excavating the foundry and uh, construction things here. Some science things here. Satellites here. Power on our stuff. We'll put power on the bottom floor, I guess. I'll send we'll word when the new facility is operational. How's the research going? Research this technology has a number of potential applications. I'm sure the science team is eager to begin. I'll notify you as soon as we have something significant to report. Okay, let's customize this bad boy. And here he is. We got a Spitfire 175. So, he's our support man now. Uh, okay, so let's see here. We're gonna go situation room. Now, we got a few days before some of our tech stuff finishes. Not situation room, sorry. <clears throat> There's a few things. Oh, control. There's a few things that need to be done. Like these things. Here. That's done. It's good. Um, the facilities. Go another access. That's good. Let's return to mission control. Scan some more activity. Put more stuff past. Any materials are researched. Let's get something new going. Let's see here. Defense number two armor. Weapon fragments. Let's get some cool I guns going. I expected that would be a priority research task, Commander. Sure you did. I think you say that no matter what. I'm yeah. <clears throat> the final access lift right out of the way so we can now have access to all the floors. Dig all this stuff up, make her too. Plan on using all that space. Quite a bit of money here. Economy is not bad. Activity. Contact detected. And incoming UFO.